So the idea is that this mask was intended for staff and patients alike, again, with their safety in mind, first and foremost, in light of the recent coronavirus epidemic. Ultimately, our goal was to come up with a product that would be safe for our patients and staff. So we've come up with a mask um, and a face shield. The mask, um, this, these are both prototypes, so they won't necessarily look exactly like this when they're finished. So the products we chose for the mask, um, they're moisture wicking, the fabric is moisture wicking. Um, it's a quick dry fabric, it can be bleached. Um, Staff, staff can use this repeatedly. They can be washed repeatedly and still hold its integrity. At the very top of the mask, there's a pocket that um, the nose piece can slide out, in and out, if it needs to be replaced. You can see the nose piece can be taken in and out um, and put positioned correctly. Um, it is sewn on three corners, on three sides, and then opened on one side to be able to remove and reinsert um, necessary filter material. When filters are needed, new filters are needed, they can be replaced. So this does have some stamina to it. The elastic on the side is soft. We chose softer elastic to make it more comfortable for the nurses. The mask, this is one single color because again, it's a prototype, but it will be two colors so the staff can easily recognize the inside and the outside. We obviously don't want staff to then put it on backwards and put the contaminated side towards their face. So it will be two different colors. So in conjunction with the mask, um, we were also tasked with identifying some product that would assist in the safety of, again, both the patients and the staff alike. So for this particular product, again, we chose a material that was easy enough to see through and that could also be bleached and maintain the integrity of being visibly seen through. Um, and then in addition, with the staff comfort in mind, we chose an elastic band because we felt that it would provide comfort, a thicker band, while also able to um, have the ease of on and off. While this is currently sewed, we will put clasps on to assist in the ease of this product for staff when those patient scenarios arise. This is able to come out. The snap will allow the elastic band to come out so that it can be bleached. In addition, the um, plastic portion can also be bleached to, again, ensure that the staff safety and patient safety is first and foremost. So as you can tell, when you have both of the products on, that the face shield extends beyond the side of the provider's face, again, providing that additional barrier in a droplet precaution scenario. And with that being said, the um, face shield falls against the mask to provide staff with enough room between their face and the mask to provide that breathability. And it goes low enough so that it can act as a, an additional barrier to in the droplet scenario beyond the face shield itself. As nurses, we feel very confident in the safety of this product for our coworkers. This will be produced here um, in the near future by Henry Ford Allegiance volunteers, and then there's some other companies that are looking into it that we're excited about. We have had requests from first responders in the community, the police, the EMS, and the fire department, because they are also short of PPE equipment. PPE equipment, if some of you don't know, is personal protective equipment. So these will be also made here within our facility um, for those first responders.